Well, hello. Uh, we are here. Um, I'm going to do a example about a centroid uh, when the shape is defined by a function that is requiring to use integration. Um, I'm going to use a relatively simple example and, uh, and then uh, so you can see what is the process, but this can be uh, use for any other shapes that are defined by a function, okay? All right, so the shape that I want to do, uh, I want to look at a relatively simple shape. So uh, what we're going to do is I have, I have a uh, x and y axis. So this is going to be my y axis. It's going to be my x axis. And I want to know what is the centroid of a triangle. And that triangle is defined by that function. Uh, it's a straight line. And we're going to say that this coordinate over here is B, which means that my uh, base of my triangle is B. And this coordinate over here is going to be H. So the, my triangle has a base B and a height H. If we look at how we can develop the uh, equation for that, uh, for this line, that, uh, that is, uh, let me see, this line over here, right? That can be a function, is y a function of, um, of x? We actually can tell that my y is going to be equal to h over b times x. The reason for that is because the slope of that line is going to be h over b and the intercept is going to be zero, right? The value of that function at x zero is going to be y equal to zero. Very good. Uh, so the centroid is the geometrical center of that shape and it's going to be somewhere around there. Uh, let's see, this didn't quite work. There you go, somewhere around there. And that is going to have some particular coordinates and the coordinates of that centroid is going to be X bar, Y bar. Okay, so that's going to be our, our centroid. Just as a reminder, the equation for a centroid is going to be X bar is going to be at the top of that division. We have the integral of X tilde, the A, over the integral of dA. And this x tilde is going to be the um, location of the centroid of my differential of area, of my dA, right? Similar way, my uh, y bar is going to be equal to the integral of y tilde dA over the integral of dA. So as you can tell, the, um, the integral of dA is in both of the equations, so we only need to calculate it one time. So let me, let me start there. Let me start by calculating that integral of dA, and, uh, and then we can move into the calculation of the x, uh, x tilde dA uh, and the integral of y tilde dA. All right, to be able to do that, uh, the first thing I need to do is to define my differential of area. And to be honest, I think this is one of the, the key parts of this type of problems, is defining that differential of area. So, so let's do that. Let me, let me turn my camera off so we can have more space to work with. And to do the differential of area in this particular place, uh, this particular example, let me use some blue color. I'm going to define my first differential of area uh, like this. And I'm going to use two differential of areas, one for my... Uh, X bar, the other one for my Y bar. And the reason for that is just make the calculations a little bit easier. All right, if that is my differential of area, what we're going to see is that this particular point is going to have values of X tilde, Y tilde. That is the value, this is the centroid of my differential of area. All right, this is the centroid of my differential of area. And in that particular case, what we can say is that my x tilde is equal to x, right? So my value of x. The other thing that we can say is, okay, see, so this is my dA. 
Well, this is a rectangle, and the area of a rectangle is the height times the width. The height is going to be equal to y, and the width, since this is a differential of area, is going to be equal to my uh, dx. So basically what we're saying is that this, this um, base of that rectangle is going to be very, very small. It's going to be a dx. All right, very good. So with that in mind, uh, I think we have everything to calculate the differential, uh, the integral of dA. And if you remember from calculus, that's going to be equal to the area of that triangle. So it should give us B times H over 2. So that's a, a good way to check whether or not that definition of the differential of area is correct. All right, so let's just start by calculating the integral of dA. The integral of dA, uh, okay, well, we have that this is y dx. Um, wait, but that y and that dx is not gonna work very well for us. We need to write that y in something in terms of x. But the nice thing is that we go back, we actually find that the equation that defines that line has the relationship between y and x. So we basically can say that this is also equal to h over b x dx. And we can actually use that for my differential of area. All right, good. So I'm going to use that uh, integral of dA. It's going to be an integral. And we need some limits. The limits are going to be from 0 to b, right? Because that's how x is changing. x is changing from 0 to b. And we have that this is h over b x dx. Very nice. h and b are constant. So what we're going to see is that that is going to be equal to the, in, uh, the h and the b come out of the integral. Integral from 0 to b of x dx. And if you go back to your calculus, you can uh, say that this is h over b x squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to b. And if we evaluate that, that will be h b squared uh, over 2b, which is equal to h b over 2. Very good. That's exactly what we expected for the area of the triangle, right? The base times the height over 2. All right, next, let's do the uh, numerator of that definition of that x bar, of that equation of x bar. So that's going to be my x tilde dot dA, x tilde dot dA. All right, so let's see. So I have the integral of x tilde dA. Uh, we can write this as the integral. We said that my x tilde was going to be equal to x. Right, and that is because what we see in that uh, in that figure, uh, the centroid of that dA is at x, right? And we also say that my dA was going to be equal to h over b x dx. Okay, so I'm going to organize this a little bit better. I'm going to take my constants h and b out of that integral. And now since we have that dx again, what we're going to see is that this is an integral from 0 to b of x squared dx. All right, that integral is h over b um, x 3 over 3 from 0 to b. And that ends up being h over b, uh, b to the 3 over 3, uh, that would be h b squared over 3. Very nice. So we got the numerator. Uh, we have the denominator. Now we can say that my x bar is h b square over 3. And at the bottom we have uh, h b over 2. 
Okay, so we have that this is 2b square h over 3bh. So we have that this is 2b over 3. All right, so my x bar is equal to 2b over 3. Very nice. All right, now I have a challenge for you. And the challenge is, can you calculate the y bar? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a trick, okay? The trick is, what you wanna do is switch the orientation of your DA. So instead of having a vertical DA, you wanna have an or, a horizontal DA. And I'll give you the answer, okay? The value of your y bar uh, should be equal to, let me think about this for a second. Um, h over 3. That's what you get. So why don't you give it a shot? Uh, try to calculate the value of your y bar and see if you get h over 3. And once again, one of the tricks is that you can use here is to switch your DA to be horizontal, right? To be a horizontal DA. All right, let me see how it goes.